Test, 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 one, two. Test, 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 one, two, man. You guys uh, let me know if uh, I am echoing. What's up, Justin? I see you right there. Is the, uh, am I echoing in the microphone? Test, 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 one, two. Am I echoing in the microphone? Someone saying yes, sir. Okay, so no. Okay, no echoes. Okay, good. All right, man. We are about to get underway. Let me um get this straight here. Okay, cool. This parking lot pimping. <laughs> All right, shout out to Detroit Rock City. That is Coach Marshall, Mitchie Boy, Justin Jay's out here, Roland Woods is out here, Anthony Washington checking in as well. Salute to you guys. We're going to go ahead and get underway, man. I had a little bit of a technical difficulty with this uh, echo over here, man. I got to figure out what's going on with that, but I'm glad that it has uh, dissipated. And uh, we are going to go ahead and get into this ball game. We are a few minutes late here between the Red Dragons and the Armadillos. You can see the poster right here with Dombrowski and Charles Raymond looking to be a good game. Don't have really much on uh, Coach Goods' uh, his game plan for today, so I'll probably be more heavily talking about the red dragons um but you guys are veterans uh will be able to help us in the chat about some of these players as well man but without further ado i'm going to go ahead and uh jump into this game real quick give me just a moment fellas And we are live for another preseason matchup here in the Relocation Football League between the Armadillos and the Red Dragons. You guys can, should be able to see the graphic art here on the screen. Nice looking night down here in San Diego. Both teams about to head out onto the field. You can see the celebration going on right now. Red Dragons and those... Nice red and gray uniforms, and the Armadillos rocking the white and black tonight. Should be a great matchup between these two teams. Big shout out to Chris Puck came through, Kerblam King, Anthony Washington, Detroit Rock City, and everybody else who's in the chat right now. Highlighting Morgan Weaver, the tight end, looking to make an impact today for the Red Dragons. There's Coach Davis on the sideline. We'll go ahead and flash the coaches real quick. Coach Davis is the coach of the Red Dragons, going into his second year. And coach Goods, I believe this is his second year as well, the coach for the Armadillos. And boy, are they excited down here tonight as both of these teams have prepared and are ready to get into this ball game. But first, we got to, you know what, pay some bills. Jumping forward into the game, and we are off as the kick is about to come in. Our third stream here on Twitch in the preseason as we are trying to build our community. We appreciate all of you guys, your love and support. 
And here is Devin Wade. We heard about this guy picked up last year by the Armadillos. Kind of had a decent year, but didn't play as up to his expectations, in my opinion. Big shout out to Justin Jones for letting me know Weaver was a rookie. I appreciate that, my guy. And Devin Wade will be here getting a start for Austin. In the pocket, going to pass. Has a man to the outside. No, going to overthrow him. Maybe a little bit of jitterbugs, right? So Lil Jud, Thomas, Lopinski, Kaiser, and Bo are going to be on the O-line. Darman heard the fourth. Barry, Luciano, and Woodard are going to make up the weapons that Wade will be throwing to this evening. Look at his fingers. Four down linemen. Passed over the middle. Has a man. That's great. It's a great pass and a catch. Devin Wade, Devin Wade, one for two. The start out, going to get back to the line under center. Single back formation. Hands the ball off and only going to get a couple of yards on the play. Someone remembering that Wade was bad last year and he definitely was. Ashmore, Core, Dean, and Luke are going to make up the D line. Hewitt, Williamson, and Higgins are going to make up the linebacker core. Coach says watch out for Higgins and Henry, Yamini, Burge, and Ridley are going to make up the DBs. Gonna hand the ball off again. Has a nice hole. Carlos Barry, the halfback, picks up four on the play. Third and three. Hands the ball off again. This time has a first down and then some. And that's gonna be heard the fourth. So going with a little bit of mixture of a dual back system here tonight for the Red Dragons. You see the blocking up front. Heard makes a great cut inside and gets up to, gets the first down. Looking like a nice fast-paced offense. Some kind of zone run for the Armadillos. Gonna bring a first and 10 from the 49-yard line. Has the man wide over the middle to the open field. 20-10. I think he's gonna score a touchdown. Armadillos already on the board and Looking really, really reju rejuvenated right now <laughs> off this drive. We saw the Armadillos in up and down season last year. They were actually 10 and 6 and wound up bouncing back toward the end in the AFC West. I should note that they are now in the AFC South. Actually, they swapped positions with the Red Dragons who were in the AFC South and now they are in the AFC West. So both of these teams swapping divisions now. And what a great drive that was for the armadillos on that play right there crowd and community really loving that in the chat right now there's big dombrowski he wants to talk it over with his teammates right now so when it comes to field goal unit kick is up and that's good six plays 75 yards what a big pass that was from devin wade Maybe trying to prove something this season. He was anticipated to come in as one of the best quarterbacks to, or pickups in the free agency. It didn't live up to those expectations. Now he finds himself here in year two in preseason. And what a great drive that was. Red Dragons with the ball. They're going to bring this up to the 28-yard line. And there's Coach Davis on the sideline. Coach Davis is beloved by a lot of people in the league. He's going to play Joey Luigs. Justin Jones, let me know if I'm pronouncing that pronouncing that right. Is it Luigs or Luigs? I think it's Luigs. <laughs> oh man. Justin Jones is my enunciator. <laughs> Pronunciator. <laughs> Assistant. First and ten. Single back formation. Luigs under center. Gonna drop back. Passes and throw delivers a strike right over the middle. He's one on one. I formation. So Luigs rolling out. Luigs passes, has a man, and that's going to be a first down and then some. Nice pass. Love, loving the play action by Luigs just now. Strong formation for Luigs under center. Going to pass a quick wide right receiver screen. Juke move and gets that up to the 49-yard line. McIntosh with his second reception, 16 yards. 
Luigs back, passes, has a man, that's going to be a reception up to the 40. So another fast-paced looking offense for San Diego right now is they'll bring Luigs back under center this time and they get that out to the rookie Weaver. Has a man to the outside and it's another catch. Five of five for Luigs, looking red, hot right now. That passes to Fontenot. And it's another first down, and that's going to be C.J. Bobo. Went out on a high ankle sprain, high ankle uh, injury last year, missed half the season. And Coach Davis is so happy to have him back in the backfield. Toss, juke move, Bobo up the sideline. Bobo has some real estate, another juke move, and gets the first down. Down to the 15-yard line, and the crowd is going crazy. As they recognize Bobo is back in effect here for the Red Dragons. And look at this. Nice toss to the outside. Juke move. Juke City. Nice run after catch right here. Just And finally, Dombrowski shuts it down on the end of that play. Almost could have went for a touchdown if he would have got that anywhere in, um, into the interior right here. And Dombrowski just shuts it down immediately. Single back formation. We got three wide receivers for the Red Dragons. Luigs in the pocket. Luigs passes. That ball is going to be deflected by a D lineman and just falls innocently to the turf. And we have Collier, Schaefer, Eaton, and Slate, and Barry on the O line. McIntosh and then the Dino, Bobo, Weaver, and Compton are going to make up the weapons that Luigs is going to have this evening. Going with double tight end set. He has the ball off to Bobo. Bobo still on his feet. Bobo finally snatched down to the ground aggressively. Wycheck, no no Horwood, Lynch, and Stevens are going to be on the D line. Rodenhauser, Dombrowski, Blount are going to make up the linebacker court. And O'Neill, Barry, Henney, and Kraft are going to make up the cornerbacks and free safeties. Strong safeties for the Armadillos. Wiggs, third and 10 from the 15 yard line with an offset formation. Wiggs passes, has a man, and just going to overthrow him. Bad pass by the Wiggs, and he's looking down. He knows it as he just overthrew his receiver on this route. Had him dead to rights if he would have caught it. Might have been a first down or even a touchdown. But instead, they're going to have to settle for the field goal. Fans letting me know that Bobo Bo was a beast that year. They won a chip. As most of you know, I'm a new commentator. Still learning the RFL. Haven't even called a complete RFL season. So there are going to be things that I just don't know just yet. So I appreciate you guys for throwing that stuff in the chat to help our community understand about these two teams. And that ball is going to be kneeled into the end zone. The ref getting in the way <laughs> just now. They want to do a little bit of replay right here. The hard hits that's been going on. Red Dragons have been all over it. Getting it done, shutting it down. Nice game tackling going on by the Red Dragons. As their defense is back on the field. Facing a single back formation. And that pass is going to go for a loss of yards. Negative three on the play as Darman... Was not able to get the ball in time before Ridley shut it down immediately. Devin Wade just pulls back and just threw this ball. And Darman just started going backwards. Shout out to Coach Tor pulling up. Appreciate you for coming through. Shout out to HCR Raindrop or AC Raindrop as well. What's going on? Devin Wade in the pocket. Devin Wade stepping back, observing the field. Has a man? No, going to be broken up. Nice pass deflection by the defense there. Third and 13. Check, butt set. Check, butt set. What, eight, what, eight, Wade in the pocket. Oh, boy, under pressure and gets hit on the play, but still delivers the ball. That's going to be a fumble, and the Red Dragons have recovered for the moment as Ridley recovered the ball. Devin Wade, they were right in Devin Wade's face. I'm surprised he was able to get that ball out. Someone took an injury just now. Is that Ridley on the play? 
So it's going to be a booth review on the fumble. Oh, his knee was down. Jack Higgins just laid the pipe. Oh, man, his knee is down, though. I think the knee was down before the ball came out. This probably is going to be reversed. Devin Wade took a hit as well in that play. Oh, fourth and four. So they reverse it, fourth and four, and it'll be a punt. So it works out for both ends here. Still going to get the ball. Armadillos are going to get it at the 15. That's going to be shut down immediately. I'm sorry. The Red Dragons will get it at the 15, and that will be shut down immediately. Single back formation, double tight ends. <laughs> Going to the outside, cuts it inside. First down, CJ Bobo. Razzling, dazzling. He already has 31 yards on the day. <laughs> and I want to go ahead and. Uh, make sure I correct Roland Woods. I was not using that that uh, term in that in that <laughs> capacity. I was using that in a different capacity. <laughs> oh boy, C.J. Bobo doing his thing. Great run by C.J. Bobo. Glad to have this guy back here in preseason. <laughs> a bunch tight formation for the Red Dragons. Gonna hand this ball off. Bobo has the ball off to the races again. Looking really strong right now. Five rushes, 42 yards as they continue to ground and pound against this Armadillo team. Heaney's going to be credited with the tackle on the play. Bobo is just out here making guys look silly right now. Hands the ball off and going to get it up to the 46. Another tight formation, bunch tight formation for the Red Dragons. Wiggs passes to the outside, has some room, gets the first down and then some. And up to the 43, and Wiggs looking pretty sharp right now as Bobo appears to be tired. They've been running him an awful lot now. And they hand the ball off again, and this time that's going to be stopped. Before he can pick up a yard, we'll bring up a second and 10. New back in this time. One safety over the middle. The Wiggs. Passes to the outside again. Really killing the flats right now. Loving what they're doing. Getting Dombrowski out there in his zone coverage. Trying to throw something underneath and make him chase down, guys. Tiring him out. Play action. Rolling around. Dead man on his back. Great hit by Stevens on the play. <laughs> Just going to do some kicking animations right there. <laughs> Get it out of here. Because Lou Wiggs didn't have any time to think before Stevens was... In his grill. Just about to make the pass and gonna be a sack for a loss by Stevens. Punt is bobbled and almost blocked. Gonna be out of bounds at the 15. So four wide receivers out in offset formation for the Armadillos. Hands the ball off. Shut down City. That's going to be his herd to fourth. He's going to be stopped in the backfield. And that's going to be big Jack Higgins on the play. He's a star on this defense. And you can feel his presence right now as he's absolutely... Getting to that backfield right now and causing havoc for the Armadillos. Wade over the middle. Just a little cheap shot. Picks up a few yards, third and five. Nice looking defense for the Red Dragons. Blitzing a man over the middle and the pressure came slightly. Devin Wade gets rid of it 
a bit fast there, and that's going to be a three and out for the Armadillos. <laughs> and Roland says, Bad at 20 be zooming. Oh, it does. I feel like my mouth is zooming, man. It's, it's, it's so fast. <laughs> Just getting notification that Hampton City Dreamer is Coach Davis in the chat. Salute to you, my man. Definitely loving what Mitch said, how you have schemed the team so far. Looking pretty good so far. Single back formation, a handoff to C.J. Bobo. He gets up five yards on the play. He's got 51 yards on the night. Still looking strong, second and six. Another bunch type formation. Man to man on the outside for the Armadillos, and that's how the quarter is going to end. If you are new here, check us out at RelocationFootballLeague.com. Well, you can find all the news on the teams, the schedules, standing statistics, RFL news, articles, videos, and if you want to become a player as well, we have an application ready and full effect on the site. It costs $5. Single back formation. New quarterback in the game, and he's going to have a whole slide down. And this is going to be the rookie, Anthony Savoy, who we've all been anticipating seeing this guy get some runs. Some have wondered if he's going to be starting this season. We will see after this preseason, but he's in the game right now. Under center, passes, has a man over the middle. Good pass. One of one for Anthony Savoy. Nice, nice pass. Just raises up out the pocket, delivers a nice, quick pass. Kind of reminds me of a West Coast style offense. Gets that to Fontenot. Anthony Savoy is from Florida State. 6'2", 215 pounds, trying to become the starter for the Red Dragons. Single back formation. Nice motion. Hands the ball off. This is going to be a new halfback, and I think this is going to be Ninadino, and that's going to be Ninadino the third. Getting some action on the play. Weak formation. Play action. Rolling around. Going to use his legs. Avoid gets the first down. <laughs> just reached out just quick enough to get the first down high formation gonna hand the ball off and this time that's gonna be a new halfback that's gonna be Russell Fender Russell Fender from Northern Illinois he's a star 217 pounds 6 foot Savoy back in the pocket hands the ball off again and there he goes again Fender with the first down so the rookies coming in Young guy's coming in, making some adjustments, or made some adjustments here. See Fender getting all the blocks. Looks like he has a little bit of elusiveness on him as well. Nice speed to him. Split back formation for Savoy. Savoy. Play action. Passes over the middle. Has a man in the shoestring tackle. That pass is going to be completed. To Luke Spicer out of USC. High formation. Savoy. Hands off. And that's going to be a first down spin move. Fender fighting for some more. And just plows through a couple of armadillos. One of them being Michael Kelly, I believe. See the moves right here. The power spins around. Great job. One with a power look right now. Stepping back. Blitz coming. Passes over the middle. And oh, oh, just misses. Threw it a little bit underneath. Felt the pressure coming from the left side. Second and 10. Bunch tight again. They've loved this formation so far this drive. Stepping back. Savoy in the pocket. Passes over the middle. Has a man first down. Still on his feet. Throwing guys around. Savoy is three for four. 28 yards. Has him down at the four yard line. Spreading him out this time with an offset. And that's going to be shut down as Fender goes nowhere on the play. The Armadillos infiltrated the backfield, taking advantage of the O-line there. As Gibbs and Kelly got in on that one. Just great overpowering of the O-line. You can tell that O-line is a little bit tired down here in the red zone. Still work to do. Second and goal. 
Man to man on the outside. And they hand the ball off inside. That's going to be an easy touchdown for Fender. Russell Fender, the halfback. <laughs> Northern Illinois made a mistake. He's not a rookie. Has some experience here backing up C.J. Bobo this evening. What a nice drive that was for Savoy. Savoy looking really, really good right now. <laughs> That's what we thought. <laughs> and San Diego finds themselves up 10 to 7. That was a great drive. A really, really great drive. So we got a bit of a back and forth affair going on tonight. Kickoff is going. And this is going to be fielded around the five yard line. We're going to be brought back up, crosses the 25, up to the 27 yard line. Armadillos coming back on the clock. Big shout out to Roland Woods, Mitchie, Markel, Chrome, Kerblam King. Ultimate team is out here. Bill Nick is out here. Everybody's out here in full effect. Fresh Squad 757 is out here. Hampton City Dreamer is out here. Armadillo's under center. Ball is handed off. He's got some real estate. Get the first down. This is going to be another 25 this time. But this is going to be Trevor Unheard out of Stanford. Great blocking by the O-line here. Springs Heard kind of pays for it at the end of that play there. Man to man on the outside. And hand the ball off again. Heard. Tries to get a spin move. And that's going to be an injury on Jack Higgins. Offset formation. Armadillo still rolling. Second and eight. Passes. Wide receiver screen. Has a man. Has space. Into the open field and gets the first down. Great block. Great pass by McMahon who's now entered the game. That's quarterback. He's going to take it back in the pocket. McMahon has a block. Rolling around, passes, just throws the ball away smartly and wisely. You gotta love when quarterbacks on, throw the ball away, get out of pressure, don't take the sack. Armadillo's going with a bunch tight of their own. Single back formation, gonna pitch it, toss to the outside. Heard, gonna be wrapped up. And that's gonna be Charles Raymond, who you might have seen on the poster here tonight. And he gets back there, makes an excellent tackle. Definitely a centerpiece in this defense right here. And he just stuffs that. Look at that. Came off the edge. Took her down. Got it. 36. 36 the mic. You're trapped. You're trapped. Eye in the mic right now. McMahon. Gets the ball off. Back in the pocket. Passes over the middle. And that's going to be a catch. But not going to be good enough for a first down. It'll bring up fourth and 11. Great defense on the play by the Red Dragons. Trevor on her, not able to catch that ball. Greg Lee out of Florida State makes a great defensive play right there to wrap him up. And the punt is off. What a skyrocket that was at the one yard line. Oh, roll it, baby. Rewind it. Look at this. Kicked us all the way from the 39-yard line. Sky punt. Looked like it was just going to go into the end zone for a touchback. Instead, it's going to be at the one-yard line. So the Red Dragons bring their offense back out. Backed up against the red zone. Against the end zone, I'm sorry. The entire offensive line is in the end zone for the Red Dragons. Gonna hand the ball off, and That's going to be good run right here. Still on his feet. Still trucking. OMG. Stoner It's a nice rush on the play And I'm pretty sure the Red Dragons are going to be happy about this one As that bells them out as they were on the one yard line after the punt And now at the 16 gives them a little bit of room Wiggle room now Maybe can put the quarterback into some formations Some different formations now Single back formation Hey, 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 hey Four down, four down, four down 
And just hand this ball off and oh. Gonna be stopped. Here we go, here we go. 60 Pittsburgh. Anthony Savoy back in the gun. Stepping back, has plenty of blocks. Gonna roll around using his legs. This guy likes to scramble, slides down. At the 21 yard line, third and six. Savoy not afraid to use his legs. Takes the ball, gonna throw a screen. Has a man, gonna bend the corner. First down and then some, and then it's gonna be a good play right there. The Red Dragons are gonna get a first down on the play. Anthony Savoy, four or five. Fender getting in the passing game now after a couple of nice runs. He has his second reception of the night. Really loving the speed of Fender. He got to the outside. They're not gonna show what happened in the backfield just to stop. I formation. 4-4 look for the Armadillos. They're going to run right into it. And look at this. First down, no. <laughs> Nine yards on the play. <laughs> going to bring up second and one. So not afraid of the 4-4 look by the Armadillos. Red Dragons flexing. Play action. Under pressure. Throws. Has the man. And it's going to be caught. And I think that's going to be a rough in the passer call. And that's going to be a legal man downfield on Carroll Collier, the left tackle. I think the rush kind of slowed Savoy down a little bit. I thought it was going to be a rough in the passer call. Tom Browski celebrating that one right there. 4-3 look for his defense. Savoy back, passes, has a man, tried to get the first down and couldn't bend the corner. That pass went to number 80, Shakir Compton out of NC State. And that's going to be the two-minute warning. If you are new here, check us out at RelocationFootballLeague.com. We are live in effect here in Season 5. Single back formation, Savoy under center, third and two. Stepping back in the pocket, he's back deep. Passes, has a man, and that's going to be Nindadino who bells him out again. Nindadino getting a lot of the work here on this drive. Racing back to the huddle. And good blocking by the old line. Then the Dino just comes in and sits right in the pocket. Right under Corliss. Makes a nice reception. Corliss had to come back on the route, playing a little bit too deep in that zone there. And then the Dino eats it up. Spreading them out wide. Savoy back in the pocket. Passes over the middle. Has a man. It's going to be a reception. No, sir. He's going to be hit <laughs> with the hit stick. <laughs> Second and 10. Amadillo's looking like they're sending the pressure from the outside. Man to man. Stepping back. Savoy passes over the middle. Has a man. That's going to be a first down. Then some up to the 42 yard line. So another great looking drive right now. And the crowd is letting the Red Dragons know it. They are feeling it right now. Look at this pass. Nice reception. Some great defense to stop him in the open field. But still, nonetheless, a first down. It's Deadman, Desmond, I'm sorry. Makes a great catch. Steps back in the pocket, gonna run it, uses his legs wide open, has a man, oh boy, oh boy. This guy Savoy is amazing. Using his leg, didn't even slide there. Picks up the first down, he's so quick and fast out of the pocket. Oh, gotta love it. Split back formation. Stepping back. Passes. Lost one to the solid. And look at this. He's caught it. He caught it. He lofted that ball up perfectly to Nenadino, who was on the halfback wheel route. You got to love an excellently, excellent executed wheel route. Oh, man. I got to calm down. So excited. Offset formation. Savoy passes. And that's going to be no good. <laughs> it's getting hot up here. We gotta turn the AC on. <laughs> Second and ten. Mason Henderson with the third tackle of the night. Savoy back in the gun. Savoy rolling around. Savoy gonna use his legs to get up the middle. Can he have a touchdown? There's a touchdown. Savoy and Anthony Savoy has turned up down here tonight, <laughs> or over here, up here, wherever you want to be at. Anthony Savoy is on top of his game tonight. 16 to 7. Look at this right here. Doesn't even think about it. Pure instinct. Oh, <laughs> that's awesome. What a pickup that was by the Red Dragons last year in the draft. 
He is a beast. <laughs> Bill Colt. Oh my. Oh my. Talk about prospects. That's a great prospect what Roland Woods is saying. Big shout out to the Red Dragons and Coach Davis for that pickup. That's an impact player right there. There were a lot of pickups. We got to talk about impacts, man. That's This is an impact right here from what I'm seeing. Both of these teams using their starters here, so you're actually seeing what a real game would look like. That ball's going to be brought up, and it's a fumble loose game. <laughs> it's a fumble loose game going back the other way. And the Red Dragons have it as Compton. The receiver picks that one up. What a great strip that was. I believe that was number 56. Number 36. I got to get a name on him. Number 36 is Bobby Boucher. Bobby Boucher. Well, special teams rips that ball out. And that's going to be a turnover. OMG. <laughs> Bobby Boucher ripped that ball out, guys. Savoy's back. Savoy passes. Has a man. Got the truck stick. <laughs> Up to the 29-yard line. Second and three. Play action, Savoy, passes, has a man. Savoy is just absolutely dominating right now. Third and three. Fontenot has his third reception on the night. Stepping back. Going to throw the screen. And that's going to be swallowed up. And a timeout will be called. Armadillo's wanted to talk it over here. Oh, I'm sorry, the uh, Red Dragons wanted to, wanted to stop the clock. I'm sorry. They stopped the clock here. Eight seconds left. Kick is up, and the kick is good. 20 to 7, just four seconds left on the clock until the end of the half. How about the drive by Anthony Savoy? That last drive was amazing. An even bigger play by Bobby Boucher on special teams. Absolutely just strong arm robbery on the Armadillos. They get three points out of it. And that is how the half is going to end. If you're liking what you're seeing and want to become a star, check us out at RelocationFootballLeague.com to be the next star. Player applications are available right now. We have an official college series that's going to start in the summer and go all the way through December. You can join any of the 32 college teams that we have available. We are ending the week here. A week one preseason. You had all these games going on. Not sure what happened in the Dreadnoughts and Cougars game. Guys will have to let me know what's going on there. But it was a pretty good game so uh, up there when I was able to catch part of it as well. And this kick is back off. We are here to start the second half. Big shout out to Aaron, Adam Jaron checking in. I saw you the other night too, man, checking in. We appreciate you as well. Red Dragons playing very, very well tonight. Official score of the uh, Dreadnought Cougar game was 26 to 6 in favor of the Dreads. Bunch tight formation for Savoy. Single back formation. Savoy rolling around, and this time going to be wrapped up. He's got 39 yards on the ground and one touchdown. Getting it done here with his team up 20 to 7. Stepping back, passes, has a man, and that's going to be good up to the 42. So Savoy continuing his reign here in the second half. Play action, Savoy in the pocket, passes, has a man, no, going to be broken up. Some very tight defense right there by Romaniski. Or Robinson, I'm sorry. Another bunch tight. Going to be a flag on the play. Gets the reception here to the tight end, Fontenot. Fontenot's looking pretty beastly right now. That's going to be a holding against the Red Dragons on Franklin Stokes. Max him up second and 20. Fans not liking that one. 4-3 look for the Armadillos. Going to send a man in motion. Hands the ball off. And it's going to be stopped. 
Third and 19, spreading them all the way out. Five wide receivers, one safety over the middle. Maybe going deep. And the pass it. Oh, and just overshoots his man. <laughs> just overshoots him. And that is how the drive is going to end. You see, just overshoots him. It's a little bit too much sauce on the end of that football there. And here comes the punt. And that's going to go back into the end zone. Offset look. Hey, hey, watch it, watch it. A nice run for a first down. Slicing and dicing. It's going to be heard. He's got six rushes, 23 yards still in this ball game. Really can't speak too much about this old line. They're doing a pretty good job as well. McMahon, play action. Going to pass and throws that right to Bobby Boucher. <laughs> Bobby Boucher rocking the punter helmet out here. <laughs> boy, oh boy. Offset. Passes again. McMahon, 3 of 5, 22 yards. Bit of a struggle right now. Third and one. In the pocket, passes, has a man, and that's going to be good for a first down up to the 49-yard line. So McMahon coming out, firing the ball. It's going to be Route's second reception. Great route by route. Bobby Boucher on the tackle. You can see him just get over, and Bobby Boucher shuts it down. Big shout out to Two-Face Bison. Checking in. Play action. Going to pass. Has a man? No. Throws that just to the sideline. Going to bring up a second and ten. Two wide receivers at the top being played off of. Got a tight end at the bottom. It's going to pass it underneath. And he got rocked on that catch. So watch him make the catch. Weak formation. Hands the ball off and fighting for the first down. I think he got it. Yes, he got it. That's number 35, Evan. I think it's Muir. He's out of Nebraska, Omaha. Star Dev, 74 overall, 6'2", 235 pounds. Using his body here to pick up the first down. Boucher came in and tried to shut it down, but got caught up on his own man. Single back formation. Stepping back in the pocket, looking around. McMahon on the ground. Great tackle by Dean. That's going to be recorded. Be recorded as a sack, obviously. Second and fourteen. The big guy gets another McMahon, who just throws him to the turf. Man's going to have to work on his footwork a little bit here. He's moving around kind of erratically in the pocket, and then steps back and right into the arms of the big D tackle. Dean was not having it on that play. Passes over the middle, and that's going to be a catch. Here we go, here we go. So just five Keep yards down. from a first down. Look at around. Passes has a man. The pass is caught down to the 21-yard line. Very good-looking drive for Austin right now. So Watson records his second reception on the evening. He has 22 yards out of it. Good pass to the seam route. Got that pass in there in a hurry. Nice quick pass to Watson. Great reception. He's holding on to it for dear life so he doesn't fumble.
Stepping back, passes over the middle, and oh, a bad shot by McMahon. Because that's just an inaccurate pass. Four wide receivers on second and ten. Five, I'm sorry. Stepping back. Ooh, going to be broken up by Boucher. Boucher gets right inside that route there. Man in trouble just throws the ball away as he was almost sacked on that play off the edge. And the Armadillos will have to settle for a field goal on this play. Big shout out to everybody who's watching right now. If you could, man, make sure you're following us on all of our social media on Instagram. Find us at it's, uh, Relocation Football League. You can also find us on Twitter at RFL underscore Sim underscore League. Obviously, you can follow us here, subscribe to us here on uh, Twitch, and you can follow us on our subscribe to us on um, YouTube at Relocation Football League as well. And then we have our dot com, which I always put up here to get all that information to get connected to all the teams, schedules, standing statistics, RFL news, articles, videos, and more. Again, if you're interested in becoming a player, also check out our website as well, Relocation Football League. We have applications up going on right now. Start your career today in the RFL and join our college series later on this year. A bunch tight look for the Red Dragons. Red Dragons, this has looked familiar all night long. Savoy passing, has him in. So Savoy 12, 18, 114 yards, sporting a 20 to 10 lead. Finds Rucker. Rucker with a nice reception underneath. Just runs a little small curl underneath there. Malcolm Rucker out of Virginia, 5'9", 177 pounds. I formation. Going to hand this ball off, and looks like that's going to be Bobo again. Or Ninadino. Ninadino's back in the game, so Ninadino. With four yards on the play. Savoy, plenty of blocks. Has a man to the other side of the field, and that's going to be a first down. This Red Dragon offense is looking highly efficient right now, using a mixture of power, passing out of the power situation, using some zone runs as well. Really loving what they are doing with the backs, loving what they're doing with their wide receivers on the drag route. Nice play fakes to one side, throwing to the opposite side. Savoy just looks so comfortable right now, and that's what's most important when we're talking about game planning and scheming your players. Right now, Savoy looks like he's been in this offense since day one. Single back formation, going to hand the ball off this time. That's going to be another hole gaping. This time going to be brought down. Second and five. Going to bring a safety underneath. Handoff, first down. They're going to call it third and one. He was just shy. Savoy, back deep. First down. The crowd lets Savoy know they are absolutely thrilled with his play right now as Fender records his fourth reception. And this has just, abs just been absolutely stunning right now to see. The Red Dragons are really doing a great job with their starters. And the back, actually their rookie quarterback, I can say. Kelly shutting that pass down, or that play down. But not before he got the first down. Another run, Roberto Nidadino. Roberto Nidadino is going to be stopped in the backfield. That's where you <laughs> guy's name is so long. Roberto Nidadino, the third. <laughs> He's going to be stopped in the backfield as the Armadillos were able to key in on that play there. Ready, ready. 30 base. Nice handoff, and that's going to be shut down. So the Armadillos keying in on the run. Now watch out for that when they start zoning on the run. Quarterbacks tend to go over the top. Jason Henderson recording his third tackle. 
Let it pass deep, and it was just what we said. It's just what I called, man. <laughs> let's go, let's go. First and goal. That's going to be a knockout by Spicer. What a dagger that was by Savoy. This kid is playing like he's been in the RFL since season one. <laughs> Not day one in this offense. Look at this. What a great pass that was. I mean, I knew it. They were keying in on the run there. They shut it down a few times, and then they tried to get cute. Savoy throws over the middle. Nice pass, nice catch. That was huge. High formation. Savoy under center. Hands the ball off. Going to the end zone. Oh boy, that truck stick. Touchdown. <laughs> fender. Using the fender to get in the end zone. We call that a fender bender. <laughs> a fender bender. <laughs> Look at this, man. Get. Oh my. Oh my, just drove Milstead back, had a guy on his back like a backpack. And the Red Dragons go up 26 to 10 here. And I have to say, this is the Austin Armadillos team, second team, versus the San Diego Red Dragons second team. They, they both played their starters. They both are playing the same kind of, kind of roster here. So this is, this is just an old-fashioned preseason game, which you would normally see. And this is just this has just been absolutely just uh, just phenomenal right now for the Red Dragons. Let's go, boys! Let's go! Twenty-seven to ten. Offset formation, stacking the wide receivers right now. Red Dragons with a little bit of pressure on the outside. McMahon passes deep. And that's going to be deflected. Almost a tip drill by the Red Dragons. Is, that was some good defense there. Multiple Red Dragons on hot pursuit to that ball. McMahon takes a snap. Goes to the outside. It's going to be a pick. I think it's going for six. Pick six. Touchdown, Red Dragons! OMG! <laughs> Let me get Snatchy Nation in the chat. Is number 33. That's going to be Victor Sarawanga out of Virginia. <laughs> and I know why Coach Davis likes this guy. Shout out to Hampton, Virginia. Victor Sarawanga, pick six, Snatchy Nation. Oh boy. <laughs> OMG! <laughs> I gotta give a big out, big shout out to Virginia. <laughs> I'm down, I'm out in Richmond myself. <laughs> you gotta love the RFL, man. You gotta love the RFL. Check us out at RelocationFootballLeague.com. If you were loving the intensity right now, we're just getting started. We're just getting warmed up. This is lightweight. We just asked for the for the uh, the uh, the what do you call it? The bread basket. This is just a bread basket. Hot butter and biscuits, baby. We didn't even get the entrees yet. <laughs> this is only week one. Turn me up in the chat right now. <laughs> Hashtag RFL forever. RFL for life. <laughs> OMG. 34 to 10 Red Dragons. Absolutely scorching tonight. Looking very good in this preseason opener. Armadillo's coming back out here with a minute and 10 seconds to go in the third quarter. Second of 15, Mason McMahon, only 62 yards tonight. He's been shut down from the floor down. Single back formation. Passes it to the outside and going to be shut down at the 26-yard line. Oh, the blitz just on me. <laughs> The blitz just came in so fast. It just teleported through the old line. He couldn't even throw that. He had to throw it to the turf. Third and five. Passes up, and that's going to be caught. Did he get forward progress? They're going to say no. He didn't get forward progress, so it's going to be fourth and one. Bobby Boucher on the first down saving tackle right here. Look at this. Bobby Boucher just so fast. Look at that. Wraps him up. That's a clean tackle. Gotta love Bobby Boucher's mechanics here. Look at this, man. 
sees the big guy, just absolutely balls him up like a paper ball and stops the first down. Ball going back over to the Red Dragons. Some decent blocking, but only gets up to the 27. And that's going to be how the fourth quarter is going to start, or how the third quarter ends and the fourth quarter starts, I should say. Let me get your fours in the chat as the Red Dragons have come out absolutely scorching, one of the most anticipated teams here in the RFL Season 5. And how about Anthony Savoy? He's under center right now. Roberto Nenadino up to the 29-yard line. Second and seven. Hands the ball off, and that's going to be a first down. Fender, nine rushes, 46 yards, two touchdowns. Commissioner Chatty says, hey, if you don't know about Fender, you better go watch some old film. He's been a beast. See him right here, absolutely just trucking people. Single back formation, playing off on the wide receivers. Not quite sure why he ran backwards right there. But on to the next play, be a second 11. Good open field tackle by the Armadillos. Looks like Heath got in on that tackle as well. Trying to throw a screen here and just runs backwards. Only really like the difficult pass thrown behind him and he lost his momentum going forward and ended up going backwards on that play. Savoy. He's going to pass. And that's going to go to the turf. Third and 11. Pistol formation. Going to run. Using his legs. And he's going to get the first down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's so strong. <laughs> Fourth and two. The crowd is just happy. They don't get the first down. The crowd is just so happy. As <laughs> they're just cheering on Anthony Zavoy right now. They're not even mad at that. <laughs> Man, what kind of heart was that for like Savoy to try to get that first down? The crowd will go ahead and take the punt. What a play. And that kick's going to go to the eight-yard line. How about this punter for the Red Dragons? He puts it at the eight. Actually, both of these punters. I think the uh, Armadillo's punter also has one at the one-yard line. And now this one goes to the eight. Going to run a screen. Passes. And that's going to be shut down for a loss of two on the play. Red Dragons looking very physical right now as Alex Stone. This is a superstar, su strong safety out of Ohio State. He gets back there with the quickness. Look at that, man. This nice agility hurdles a man on the block and able to go ahead and get the nice tackle for a loss there on second and two. That's a strong safety, man. Man to man on the outside. McMahon going to run the screen again. Passes, and it's going to be no good again. They try the same play. And this time, Sarah Wang is going to shut it down for a loss of four on the play. Under center. Going to hand the ball off. And that's going to be stopped. And it's going to be a three and out. As Hurd was not able to penetrate any further on the play. Brings up a fourth and 15. And this is going to be a very difficult punt from the end zone. It's the Red Dragons are just totally dominating both sides of the football tonight. Wouldn't be surprised if they get this ball around the 50. Nice juke move and they'll get it at the 43. Come on, 
And out comes the Red Dragons, and they're cheering again as Savoy's coming back on the field. With great field position, this time going to take the I formation. Play action. He's still going to pass. Passes over the middle and has a man. Well, six-yard play on first down. Weak formation this time. We've seen this before. And that's going to be shut down. Normally when I see that, that weak formation, I'm thinking they're going to do some kind of screen here. That's what they did right there. Third and seven. That gets shut down. Doesn't with the catch. Not able to make anything out of it. Good tackle by McLeod. Here we go. Here we go. 60 or. Tackle. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. We got double up. Double up. <laughs> Savoy. Going to pass. And it's going to be a catch made. But let's see what they're going to say. Oh, an eligible man downfield. So a legal man downfield. That's going to be Franklin Stokes. He's done that before. And that's going to back him up again. Or, yeah, it's going to be still third down. They're going to lose yardage on the play. So third and 12. I think Stokes was called for one of those earlier. Savoy. Nice pass. That's going to be a great defensive play. Not able to get anything on that. So that's going to be number 44, Kyle Robinson out of Baylor. Kyle Robinson making an excellent tackle right here to draw that ball loose before it could be caught. Not sure if he would have gotten the first down any old way. It's a great hit right there by the young guy. And the Red Dragons will be, will be uh, punting this time. I want to say this is only their second punt of the game. That's going to go all the way down to the one-yard line. The one-yard line of the Red Dragons. Their punter is now turning up now. One at the eight and one at the one now. Woo-wee. What a punt that was. So back up against their own end zone. McMahon in trouble. Going to hand the ball off and cuts it to the outside. And probably a wise decision. I believe this is Muir. I'm going to say Muir picks up three yards on the play. Motioning. Going to hand the ball off to the middle. And that's going to be stopped and shut down. As Hurd has just been running into Red Dragon after Red Dragon. That time he runs into the hands of Hudson Wells out of Baylor. Baylor representing tonight. And that's going to be another, another tackle for a loss. And there's the knockout blow again. It's number 57, Antonio Cunningham out of LSU. Says, hey, Baylor turning up. Now let's let LSU turn up. Just a great play by this defensive line tonight. This time he shut down. That looks like that was a fullback there. Fourth and seven. Kicking from their, end, from their end zone again. Nice juke move. Still on his feet. And finally going to be tackled down. As they'll get the ball this time at the 38. So just five yards shy of where they were last time on the field. And so we'll come back again here with 6.35 left to go in this ball game. Pretty much over. Let's see if they decide to just run the ball out. This time. Weak formation again. We've seen this before. Let's see if it's a screen. Yep. But a nice RPO type, type play on the slant there. Second and two. Firepower of Savoy is looking phenomenal right now. Single back formation. Play action. In the pocket. Rolling around. Going to use his legs again. Gets to the outside. Bends the corner and takes that hit like a chip. It's Chapman going to shut it down going to bring it bring up a third and two for Savoy this guy's running like he's down in the game <laughs> really loving the poise and the decision making by Savoy this guy's just been perfect tonight I haven't seen a single mistake by him this evening and that's the reason why they're up so big tonight he's just playing lights out 
This guy's playing like he wants to be a starter here. One safety over the middle. Savoy observing the field. Hands the ball off. That's going to be a first down. No, going to be just shy. As Dina Dino was not able to breach the line. Some decent running right there, but not able to get the first down. And that kick is up. And it's going to be another punt inside this punter. Shut the book, man. This, this punter... It's, who is this punter, guys? You guys got to tell me who this punter is. <laughs> who is this guy? <laughs> this is madness. <laughs> oh, M. Cheesy. <laughs> oh, my. Hold on. Let me look this punter up, man. Hold on. Punter's lives matter. Who is this punter? <laughs> is that Will Shorts? Oh, it's a safety. It's a safety. <laughs> oh, my. It's a safety. Wow! Oh, wow! Look at this! Oh, man! The Red Dragons have scored in every possible way! <laughs> oh, my! And the crowd is on their feet over here in San Diego in this week one matchup, getting the punt again. This time it's going to be brought up to the 33-yard line. Red Dragons absolutely killing it. And this is just a great way to end week one of the preseason. Probably one of the best games that I've been able to see this week so far. What a great game for Monday night. And where are all my RFL content writers? Don't all write about Savoy. Please. <laughs> Somebody write about the punter and Boucher and the D-line and the O-line and Bobo. <laughs> Boy. Spread them out wide. Clock winding down. Just over three minutes to go in the ball game. Savoy still in the pocket. Passes. Just throws that to the outside. Fourth and four. <laughs> Roland says, trust me, he will. <laughs> Two-Face Bison says, the wall, the red wall of San Diego never, never bends. Hey, hey, Thunderbird said they got the red curtain. Do, do the red dragons have the red wall? <laughs> Gonna be interesting. Red Dragons, the red wall. Thunderbirds, the red curtain. <laughs> Might need a graphic for the for San Diego. Let me hook my boy, my boy Davis up. <laughs> oh man! So out comes McMahon. They've been all over him tonight. Poor guy. He's just doing what he what he can. This game's pretty much gotten out of hand. Not much production out of him tonight. Three wide receivers, offset formation for him. Step back in the pocket under pressure and oh boy, he's going to be bottled up. That's going to be Charles Raymond, poster boy. Making a the sack there and this is getting ugly. If I were, if I were the Armadillos, I would, just, I would just sub someone else in at this point. You know, this guy right now is just taking a killing right now. This is, this is a Red Dragon sandwich right now. Look at this. He just got canned. I formation. Play action. Passes. Going to pick up a few yards on the play. McMahon, 13 to 22, 69 yards and an interception. And that's going to be the two-minute warning. So third and nine. Red Dragons with a chance to stop them right here, get the ball back, and just run this clock all the way out. Steps back. 
Passes, and it's going to be an interception. It's going to cut the field. Pick six. No. <laughs> Almost a pick six. Is Dawkins gets an interception and a tackle. <laughs> Almost. Oh, my. Jeezy. <laughs> Yo, I got to get the wow movement going in, in the chat right now. Look at that. Nice pick, pick right here. Was almost a pick six. Loving how he reversed back up the field. That's going to be number 42, Ryan Dawkins out of Florida. Free safety. And this is what good scheming is. Look, I'm telling you guys. I'm calling these guys. These guys are, are not high overalls. This is just taking great players and putting them, decent players, and putting them in a great game plan. And that's what Coach Davis has done here. This evening, what a game plan this has been. You want to look up what a good game plan is, man. Just watch this game. We re re won this game. Passes, touchdown. And there it is. Pouring it on some more. That's going to be another touchdown. Is That's going to be the cherry on the top for this ball game. It's Wyatt Fortnite, who they went to all game long, gets his touchdown now. He's out of Ole Miss. 6'6", 246. They went to him early in the game. He's what kind of sparked sparked the rhythm of Savoy. And since then, Savoy just absolutely exploded on these armadillos. And there he is right there. Touchdown. Two-Face Bison says the Red Dragons team is a force to be reckoned with. <laughs> Ultimate Team says this wall, he says, bro, this wall has reinforcements as well. I agree. Chromie Chrome is still out here. Complete other domination. Man to man on the outside. Stealing a gun right now. 43 to 10, look. Sending the blitz, passes over the middle, and that's going to be a nice catch. So another completion. Right now, they're just going to probably do the two-minute drill, I imagine. Just to get one more look from McMahon. Watson records his fourth reception. I'm going to go ahead and get a replay on this one. Delivers a nice ball here. It was a great route run by Watson. As he had a break on Celestin. Offset formation. McMahon stepping back. Gonna pass. That ball's gonna be deflected. Some more ferocious defense. And I gotta give it up to the 12th man, the crowd. They've really been in this ball game for the Red Dragons. McMahon under pressure. He's on his back again. Charles Raymond is going nuts right now. <laughs> 30 to 17. Oh boy! Oh man! In the old man used to be like call the ambulance. They send the ambulance on the on the field, and the guy be on the stretcher. You gotta call the ambulance, man. This is getting out of control. They go, let the clock run down or something. Run the ball. Set, ready. Sixty Pittsburgh. Third and seventeen. Single back formation. Man steps back in the pocket. Passes to the outside. It's gonna be a catch. And he's going to be stopped down. I have not seen, I don't think I've, I've seen many passes go for more than like a couple of yards in this game for the Armadillos. A couple of, a couple of passes, you know, went to the middle of the field. But I really haven't seen any solid plays go down. This has just been absolute domination by the Red Dragons. Pass is open. That's going to be no good. And that's how the... Game is about to end now. There's Boucher right there jogging back to the sideline. Defensive core has done the job. Just throwing to nobody right there. Try to find McFarlane. I'm liking the phrase, the wall of San Diego. I'm, I'm really liking that right there. Anthony Savoy, 19-28, 166 yards, one touchdown. Those numbers would have been a little bit tighter except they had him passing on one of his last drives. But he's definitely put on a route here tonight. Fender just runs that ball out and 
That is how the game is about to end here. Your Red Dragons out of San Diego have just been on fire. Oh, my. Big shout out to the Austin Armadillos and Coach Goods. Coach Davis victorious here tonight. Powered by his backup or his rookie quarterback, Anthony Savoy, and several other star players on defense and offense. Absolutely just scorched it tonight. Look at that. Only 35 yards allowed rushing yards. That's just domination. Big shout out to the chat for hanging out here with me tonight, man. We had a little bit of a slow start. Appreciate you guys. As always, we will need you guys to continue to be active and to continue to support us. Um, but um, that's going to be the end of your ball game here tonight. I am Mix, a.k.a. Rob Roby. Salute to all and good night for the RFL. I'll see you guys on Thursday.